Welcome back, and thank you for joining me for The Witcher 3 today. We are continuing on, and we had um, some spicy moments with Kira. Geralt and Kira um, got very friendly. We got the friends with benefits steam achievement. <laughs> and, uh, and now we need to uh, stop pursuing our own interests and that of our friends um, to go help Siri. Siri is in trouble and we have been trying to track her down. We have met the Baron and now we kind of need to go continue that whole quest as well as looking for, I think, what was it? The, I don't know. We're looking for like some witches in like a swamp. And we know that Siri found the little girl being sent on the trail of treats, like, uh oh. Um, and just like the vibe out there made me definitely think that, that original book that said um, that it was a good thing was lying. It's just crazy. So here we go. Searching for the witch Siri was quarreled with, Geralt ran into an old friend, Kira Metz. Mm -hmm. Sorceress told the Witcher about a masked mage. Siri had seemed to take him shelter in his hideout. The Witcher set off to find it with Kira in tow. Siri had never reached the Elven Mage, yet the Wild Hunt had. The ghostly retinue was one step ahead of Geralt, or so it seemed. The Witcher felt that all was lost, until Kira gave him a new lead. The Crones of Crookback Bog. Yes, the Crones of Crookback Bog. So those are those witches that we need to go find. I don't think they're going to be very nice witches. I don't, I don't think they're going to be quite as nice as Kira was, though. <laughs> Okay, so we can go find the crones, or we can go find the Pillar's Hut. I feel like we should go here first. I feel like this is a little bit closer to finding Siri than this. Yeah, visit Triss in her house. Oh, it's up here. Okay. So we'll go see her somewhat soon. We are level 8 now, and yeah. Let me just take a look at the map. We should just run right up here. Oh yeah, we've already done like the quest, I think, that was here. I don't remember exactly which one this was, but I probably will when we get closer. So let's go. It won't be as cocky once the Baron's men whip your arse. It, what? The Baron said, actually, I can do whatever I want here, so I'll show you. Move it. We'll get the old bug up, you sit. What is this? What is this? Some strays wandered our way. Sod off, freak. What do you seek here, big? What's going on here? Hmm? What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got Tibbs on a chat with him. A long one. Oh, I knew I should have leveled up the delusion level two. Oh, I knew I should have leveled that up. Okay, I'm gonna level that up after the, after this. Okay, that's the first time I've seen that. Damn. Okay. I only have level one. I don't want to give you my money. What do you want? What do you want from him? To give him what he deserves. And that is? He done conjured augeries. Said something evil had made its nest in Edric's bowels. Told Edric to eat rowan berries. Lots of them. Ever since Edric's lived in the outhouse. And he's got hardened postures all over him. Ah, a, another option. Ha, ah. ha, ah, conversation pays off. Just so happens I need the Peller alive. So if you agree to leave him alone for good, I'm willing to tell you how to help Edric. Hmm, well, all in all, yes or no? Fine, let's hear it. A tea of mullen leaves for his belly, and cover his boils with mallow. A few days and he'll be good as new. Noted. But if it don't work, we'll be back. Move out, boys. Okay, well... It's good. Mattering. Hmm. Hope it works. Gotta wonder about a man who could get Edric's friends all worked up. My old lady will know. Got a knack for herb shit, was not <laughs> He's like, okay, fine. <laughs> hey, anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils, who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Whoa, a man, nay, a wolf. 
grey, though not old. Tis he the pillar awaits. Okay, thank you for the intro. <laughs> you were expecting me. Aye, as the bones declared I should. They shall come whose stench is ripe and death, but the wolf shall disperse them, the white wolf. And thus he comes. Omens never lie. Oh, that's kind of cool. We are the omen. Recognize this? Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth, smoke, and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. Did you make that? You make the amulet? Aye, sure it was the Pella. After the way of his forefathers, over still water in the light of a full moon. Proper as amulets go. It protected well. Should never have taken it off. Fair enough. Okay. I mean... So, designed to protect her. Yeah, from protect... What? Oh, the, the, the besieged she was. Evil all around, wanting to possess her. Feet. Old magic, that... born of oblivion. From dark sources emerged. Old Bottom magic? Chicken feet. Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay. Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. Long as I know where to look, yeah, where to cool find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Ooh. Princess? Which princess? Sorry. Princess! My goat! Ah. She's fled! It's gonna guess a dog? No, it's Those a goat. men must okay. have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Sounds like the Without goat's the important. Goat. Impossible. Yeah, goat's important. No goat. Okay. W won't work. You want to? You want me to get the goat? You want me to to get it? Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna refuse to chase down. Okay, I'll just I'll get the goat. Fine. <sighs> Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess, princess, where have you got to, girl? Fine, I'll get your goat. The bell. The little bell's ringing. She loves it. Ring, ring, and she will follow. Oh. Up for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. You have a new quest item. Prepare it for use by placing it in an appropriate slot in the inventory panel, then selecting it from the quick access menu. Okay. So now we have the bell. Fun. Okay, so where are we going? Just this way? Okay. Let's go. Not even gonna bring Roach. Like, let's just... Ring, ring. Uh-oh. Gotta make sure that uh, the goat doesn't get eaten. Oh, bah! This way, I think. Okay, hurry up, girl. Come on. Another clue. Come on, quickly. There you are. Here, goat. Here, princess. Hoofed and horned. Should have known it would be stubborn. Come on. All right, time to try the bell. Come on, let's go <laughs> see the peller. How cute. Come on, Come take on. you back to the peller. Come this on, is just something friends. awful. Let's go. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? Yes. <laughs> Goat! 
You think the beacon will work for the goats? Bear! Bear! Uh -oh. Run, you uh -oh. stupid piece of shit! Uh-oh. Yep, don't. Don't let it get eaten, I knew it. Okay, where'd the goat go? Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? Okay, where am I going? Over this way, I think? Yeah. Zoop. Gotta get the goat to safety. I'm, I'm not letting the goat be harmed. Princess, flee not from the Pella, for there are wolves about. There are wolves about. Okay, but like, why so many chicken feet? Goat of mine, dearest, sweetest goat. There's a lot about this goat to have so many chicken feet hanging around his neck, you know? You know? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Can we talk about Anna and Tamara now? Know where they might be? Blood. We need blood. A living being. Blood? Why do we need blood? Fine. Be right back. What? Justice for the bear? Oh. Yeah, I know. The bear was just in its home. We need this guy's help, though. Sorry, bear. Will this do? I don't know. Maybe there's too many bears in the region. Maybe it's not good for the local environment. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. Save the bunny. Rat? Why? Poor rat. Oh dear. Yeah, he's gonna stab it. Oh no. What is he doing? They are not here. There is God. Blood. I see blood. Those. No one. No Tamara. Just the child. What? A child that lives not. Yet did not die. What? It's over? Is that it? That is it. Spirits had nothing more to say? Like where they went or where they are now? You came for an augury, and augur I did. Fair They're enough. gone. The child remains. Mentioned a child. Whose? Why, Anna's. Anna was pregnant? She was, and she miscarried. Mm. Mm. Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps, or ashamed, or forgetful. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. Huh. Anna tell you all this? Did she come here after it happened? Nay, not Anna. It was the omens told me. Great, so I can be sure it's true. The omens need not your faith to be true. It is you who needs the omens to lead you to truth. Hmm. The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for Hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse huh. his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. Oh. Hmm. What happened to the child? Is that why he In didn't want to let us investigate? Throne, without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders. It seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf. Wise wolf. Catch the botchling. The botchling will help. Lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the Fair. white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. 
Blood will always find kindred blood. Okay. Why do you want its blood? Blood, blood, blood. It binds blood, men for blood, all ages, blood. the living and the dead. Sure, but what do you want to do with it? At times, a century is too <laughs> short for two brothers to reconcile. One dies before things are set right. The other then brings his blood to the Pella. Mm -hmm. And what does the Pella do? He awaits forefather's eve. He mixes the blood with milk, herbs, and hen's feet. He drinks to reconcile the dead with the living. There shall be no forefather's eve this year. But we'll find a way all the same. What is that? I hear you right. You mentioned Forefather's Eve. Pretty old custom. Oh, that, that, that was out. like, oh, we read about Death that. That's like, in every that's kind of like Halloween. Around here. Folk know they could die. Their earthly matters unresolved. Then they require help. Or they they'll not like know Sawain, peace. The, the Forefather's Eve of must be performed. Light the tallow candles to lead them through the dark. Call them by Taking name. Holiday. Appease their regrets. Only then may they depart in peace. Heard of one witcher who lifted a botchling's curse. Never tried it myself, though. I know you need to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming? That's an elven custom. Human, elven, dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Win a spirit's favor, and the spirit shall aid you. Ask, and it will answer. Seek, and it will show you the way. Okay. Pretty interesting. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. We go back to the Baron. All right. Apparently we can play the Baron and Gwent. Should we do that first before we accuse him of being abusive towards his family? Ugh. Come on. I'm assuming he is. <laughs> um, yeah, we can just run over there. Cool. My question is, do we think that we can beat him so far? Is he like a tough opponent or is it just like... Do I got this? Slow now. I mean, I'm wondering, like, can I buy any more cards or anything around here? Let me check the merchants here and see if they have any cards. I'm assuming not, but might as well check. Buy in or just per. Oh, he's Show got Gwen. Got on offer. Let me see if I can win a card from him or something, right? Do only some of them give me a card when I win, or do like all of them? I don't know if it really matters. I got this. Big money. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. They all do? Oh, cool. That guy. How many cards did I need to have? I think we're good, like, as we are now. I think something like that should be good. We got our first 10 card. That's pretty fun. We have a different leader yet? No. Do I have to buy these? Yeah, mo only the first time you beat them. That makes sense. Okay. Well, let's try. Let's see how this goes. All in. Um, what do I want to redraw? Okay, what do we even have? We have, like, a lot of close and a lot of ranged. Gives us even more ranged. Um, should I swap this out? I don't know if it's like the best thing to use, but I could just use archers and like use that. Like I'm gonna keep it probably. know exactly what I want to redraw. Maybe I can redraw like this guy. Like, I don't know. This is like pretty decent. Oh, I'm just gonna keep it. 
the strength. Okay. Only if there's two of those, though. Um... Wondering... If I could just, like, throw this down right now. But I may want to keep that, like, for later. So let me just... Zoop. What happened with Kira? Um... Got the uh, friends with benefits team achievement. Got very friendly. <laughs> I didn't realize. I'm like, oh, well, because I came from it from the perspective of like, I don't even know Trist or Yennefer, so I haven't even met Trist yet. So like, hi Kira. <laughs> we've been we've been playing a lot of Baldur's Gate also, so like, you know, I. to see. <laughs> um, I'll just kind of keep going here. What does that do? I don't have another one of those, so I don't know if that really matters. going? I guess we keep going. He's just staying like one point ahead of me, which is really annoying. Stop that. Stop. <laughs> hmm. Like, I don't want to give the win to him now, you know? Like, I don't want to do it. So I'm not gonna. Now we're tied. What does a tie mean? That's not helpful. That's not helpful. Your boy, welcome. <laughs> yeah, this is our this is our mini game that I'm still learning, getting used to this. If you tie him, he will win. Oh, okay, because no car. Okay, they always okay. So let's not do that then. It's just I'm I'm really committing here, and I don't know if this is a great idea. But, I guess we do this. I'm just gonna go crazy. Here we go. I did the spy thing. Hmm. That's all right. He only has three cards left, so there is there is yet hope. Uh. Hmm. Hmm.
Okay, we're just, we're just committed here. I don't know if this is gonna work out for us. I mean, okay. Is it gonna work out? Let's find out. Yes, yes it is. Oh, cool. Ha. 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 I don't even need any of these. I'm just... <laughs> now I can back. <laughs> hey, okay. All right. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there. We took the loss on the first round. We did overcommit on the first round. Nice. Okay. What did we get? Did I get anything new? I don't know. I got money, I know I got that. Um, and then, okay, hang on. Let me go to the other merchant. Okay, oh, or just run him over. It's good. Faster. Helps that we're getting some better cards now. I don't know what they're doing over there, but they're, they're having a good time. Lightning strike. place is on fire. Uh, that's the place where we're going, isn't it? Why is it on fire? You did to say lightning strike, but I did not see it. Oh, the person is kidnapped. Okay, so I gotta go find them. Okay, Roach, if you don't want to come into town, you don't have to. Yeah, that's good. I the youngins. Um, Baron set the stables of fire. Tottering about again. I don't calm him down. What happened? Oswin. What did I miss? Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? Believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses! Okay. See what I can do. Hurry now! Gotta quick. save the horses. Our bloody barracks would bloody barrack. What can I do? Come on, girl. Faster! Climb the ladder faster! God damn it. Lots of smoke. Gotta hurry. Miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Um, don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating Gwen. them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Ah! Oh, 
shit. They ran from you, didn't they? Lying prick! I got us involved. Like, he got us involved? Thought we weren't gonna find out? Like, haha. <laughs> Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna. Mm -hmm. That's another story. Mm -hmm. She always knew how to spark my mm -hmm. ire. Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the mm. courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, mm. hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm that's me. That's great. Make it sound like she led a charmed <laughs> life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. Um, maybe it has something to do with her mom and that. Maybe. Maybe. Your wife. How'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Yeah, I'm sure being married to this guy like is no simple. other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. Uh -huh. You beat her for that, for criticizing you. Uh -huh. Oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, uh -huh. have you? Yeah, no. Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. And like what she said about one you. One day, but huh. not today. Huh. Yeah. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? And control them? Uh... This isn't very helpful to say, but I'm gonna say it anyways. Like, no, I- they didn't exactly run away. You drove them out. Um... Gotta admit, I do think you're a prick. <laughs> Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? <laughs> Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. <laughs> Damn. Anna and I. <laughs> okay, no, it wasn't as helpful. it seemed. Seems. <laughs> Do I even want to hear this guy's side of the story? I don't know if I even want to hear him out, but like, I... I'm kind of curious as to what he has to say, and then I can tell him that he's wrong. Alright, <laughs> I'm all ears. Tell me what happened. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? We would never. I was left with nothing. Nothing! Uh-huh. Only the bottle. And whose fault was this? 
Tamara present for all this? She see you quarrel? Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. <laughs> the sight yeah. of her always calmed me. That's good. <laughs> Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? Aye. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table, spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. Okay, so how is all this going to end up? Stairs, like how? Still clutching that damn candlestick. A quarter on the landing. Okay, we this fell. guy's just like the worst. Like, okay, okay, like I get it. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. If only she could have smacked know you what sooner. Happened next. Unlucky. When I came to, I was alone. This guy's the worst ever. Okay, so now what? What happened next? Next. It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber. He just chamber, keeps convincing himself that Anna he's like not, not that bad. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets. Goodness. Dead. Is a lot. And it was my doing. I don't know if I want to ask further about that. That's awful. Seen a lot of dead in my time, but that must have been hard. Unspeakably so. My legs gave out. I saw fields of corpses at Sodden. Saw witches burn in Maribor. But compared to this, all that was a rabbit's prick alongside a great oak. And the guilt is all mine. We don't know that yet. The amulet and a war could be linked somehow. Maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? Oh good, Wrapped we get to it ask in a that clean too. sheet oh, great. and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. I'm not gonna have sympathy for this guy. And normally, yeah, but no, th this is your fault. Like, uh... Get hold of yourself. Men like you, when they break down, look downright pathetic. You're a heartless bastard. Hmm. <laughs> Mutations worked then. But here's the good news. Your dead child okay. might help us find uh, the one who's Not exactly still alive. the tone I'm looking for, and but... And your wife. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, what turn into box What is this universe? What is this game? Into fucking what? What? Do I want them to explain that? I don't think so. To be honest, I... I think I'm good. <laughs> oh God, okay, brace yourselves. A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how, how does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond, a bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob, a guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. 
Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Saying like kill its Lift soul? Lift the curse that it may something? finally rest in peace. I mean... Uh, it... Uh... I mean, yeah, I'll lift the curse, like, sure, like... Uh... Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. <laughs> okay! Ah, uh, no time like the present. The sooner we resolve this, the better. <laughs> Best do it tonight at midnight. Then wait here with me. It's good. It's good. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel to dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. Everyone put the salt outside the door today, right? Like, uh... Yeah, no, the lore building and the... War, like... A bit yeah. further. Very effective. Follow me. Oh, good. I get to read the bestiary. Good. I would love to. I would love to do that. Perhaps the most repulsive creatures a witcher will ever have the displeasure of meeting. This is good. I don't need to read all, all of this, um, but they feed on the blood of pregnant women, driven by a mad hunger that most often leads to their victim's death. Will emerge from its lair at night to lurk by the bedside of an expectant mother, draining her strength and that of her unborn progeny as she sleeps. A woman thus beleaguered first suffers from troubling dreams, then fever, delirium, and general weakening of the flesh. After a few such nights, she is enfeebled and unable to defend herself. It is then the botchling attacks directly, sinking its long, sharp fangs into her body and drinking of her blood until mother and fetus perish all together. It stands around a foot and a half in height, but when threatened, and if gorged with blood, it can change form. At such times, it grows into a deformed man, hunched over and striding, ape-like on its forearms. Stronger and fiercer after this alteration, it hurls itself into direct physical combat, gnashing at its opponent or attacking him with sharp claws. It can be lifted by transforming it into a lubberkin, a guardian spirit of the hearth that watches over the family it never knew and the house it could never call home. Wow. So, Axie and Cursed Oil. Okay. Did you give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Hmm. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. Oh, good. What's that mean? Botch things on the prowl. Oh, good. It's out and about. Is it behind us? Yeah, it is. Look. Oh, that is so messed up. What the hell? Take it in your arms, quick. And if it goes Garrity, it'll bite us in the arse. Let's try to help we it. it. We're gonna try Keep to help screaming it. Screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell! What happens when it gets plowing restless? It's your fault, it'll bite dude. through your jugular, and you'll bleed to death before I can help. <laughs> Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. <laughs> Pick it up. Take it in your arms. It's your fault, dude. You better deal with the consequences of your actions. <laughs> oh my god, this is so messed up. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Back to the fortress. What? With this? As I recall, you were the one wanted to test the old legends and change it into a lubricant. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Just <laughs> run back with it, though he walks. Okay, I'll walk with them. Okay, this is normal and good. Uh, we're helping. I. <laughs> oh, yeah, this game. All right. All right. Uh, wh what is this? <laughs> Uh... The specters. Botchling's scent attracted them. Do something! What now, you piece of filth? I'm trying not to hit him. Oh, I also, hang on. I also know that I wanted to upgrade this. Yes, can't hold it. Calm it somehow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I read that. Okay, we were ready. We were ready for that. I'm proud. But, but what do you want to do with it? Me? Nothing. This it's is your me, job. Nothing. <laughs> Told you, gotta bury it under the threshold. If the tales are true, by tomorrow it'll be a lubricant. From then on, it'll watch over your house and help me find your family. Okay. This is normal. Ah! Ah! More coming. Need to hurry. On with it! Hold on to the Ah! 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 Yeah, it still says. Where are they? Ray? Oh, hiding from me. Squirming again. Like a daffy. There we go. It worked. Okay, all right. It stopped. I didn't want to mess that up. Chosen a name? No. So think of one. It's important. It's... It's a girl. What would Anna have named her? Oh, you care about her now? I wonder how this is going to resolve for this guy. Um, I don't know. I don't even know what the best case scenario is. I, I couldn't really tell you. This is just messed up. <laughs> what now? Repeat after me. By the powers of earth and sky. By the powers of earth and sky. By the world that was to be your home. By the world that was to be your home. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. I name thee, say her name, and embrace thee as my daughter. I name thee. 
Okay, well this is just sad now. And embrace these, my daughter. Good. Now bury the body. Goodness. What is this game? What now? In one day's time, Dea should turn into a lubberkin. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this. Lies with me. Hey, Time that's for a better attitude impulses. now. It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But no buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. Ooh, my gosh. <sighs> Sit and wait. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, let's finish this one up. My goodness. Yeah, we were talking about the Baldur's Gate stuff earlier. Really exciting. Ray, welcome. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for, um,. Being here while I experience this. <laughs> All right, let's finish it up. By blood's power, I summon you. With your name, I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. Oh, 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 it's a floating ghost. Oh, okay. I do not know what I expected, but that is not. What I do to deserve your company? Okay, we have like no frames right now, but that's okay. It wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around, though. I... I can't... I... Okay. Can I... Can I talk to it? Right? Like magic lamp? No. No. No magic lamp. Not the time. Not the time. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Clothing. They change in here. Intentional drop below. Yeah, I need to get down. Wants to show me something more. Oh, where are we going now? My goodness. Ooh. 
Necrophage has had a field day. Still worth a closer look. What do we have here? Bones have been here a while. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Hmm. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage yeah, made these marks? Like a... That's odd. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Hmm. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. Okay. Quick saving. Yeah, we're getting like 50 FPS now. It's getting better. Ooh. Okay, ow! Okay, I guess dodge first and then hit the wolf. She wants me to take a closer look. Okay. Oh, hello. there's people here. Hi. Who's that? At the room. Go on now. I'm like, uh, there's a. What you see, in our house. Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women: the bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure. Not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, mummy? Yes. Quiet boy! <laughs> like, do you want money? Like, I'll pay you. Like, I... Like, <laughs> we, like, offer, like, I don't know, some of the beer we have in our bag or something at least. Like, I... <laughs> Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is, hi. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere is yeah. better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Because... Because he beat her, sir. Beat oh. Mrs. Anna, I mean... Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. Yeah, they were probably afraid of dying. He seems like the kind of person who would just kill anyone who opposes him. So that's good. Well, that's great. 
What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, uh, for like this. I was awaiting in the old Hopefully smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. Toward then, I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. What is that? Why do we focus on that mark? What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron on the palms inside. Burned like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. They's hot and glowing as if they burned with raw fire. Magic? Okay. Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother. Oh. But my wife pleaded. Said she'd die out there alone. Oh. Miss Tamara agreed so she's not just out to go. There? Uh. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I did that. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara alerted, it. Brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. Hmm. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Oh. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. <laughs> Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. So she's just dead, we assume? Okay. Thanks for your help. The lady. She'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. Okay, so it looks like I have two of these options. I can go back to the Baron. Or we can just try to go find Tamara. I'd like to just go find her first. I'm gonna go to her first. I want to know what she wants. Does she want him to know where she is? You know, like, I don't know. So it looks like Oxenford is up here. Okay. Let's do a thing. Let's, um... Yeah, we'll just run, like, right over here. And go a little bit closer. <laughs> oh, yeah. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. Goodbye. Be at rest, please. Okay, well, interesting. What a quest. What a quest. <laughs> Goodbye, Dea. Like, uh, okay. All right, so we're almost level 10. It's almost time to go see Triss. But like, there, there's like a lot to do now. I feel like there's like a lot we need to do like kind of quickly. Like, I don't know if it's actually like 
not urgent, but like it feels like it is. So I'm gonna do my best. Um. Yeah, and so we're just searching for Siri. So I guess we will see. Um. Yeah, I guess we just go. So let me take us this way. Zoom zoom. We can start. Oh yeah, we have this whole like quest. This was a whole quest line that we have over there as well. Looks like there's also another side quest for us here. Should probably pick that up soon, but I wanna I wanna at least go find Tamara, you know? So yeah, so we can find a boat headed to Skellica, which is interesting. That will be much later. Okay, now my question is, do we want to stop up anywhere along the way? Because uh, it's like, I could run over here and we could hit those, but I think I should just kind of run directly over there. Keep on going, right? I'm just wondering, I'm like, I think it's time for like, quick... Oh, look at Ozzy. Look at Ozzy. Precious. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh. <laughs> this cat is so cute. Um, guys, give me like one quick second. I'm gonna go run and refill my water. I'm just needing a little bit more water. Um, I, I don't need like a full break or anything right now, but just let me refill that water. We'll keep going and uh, and continue on. So give me just like two minutes here. BRB, stretch break, snack break, whatever you need. Be right back. <laughs> 